Are expensive campsites worth the money that you pay for them? Today, we're going to find out. We're Liam and Janine, a couple travelling the UK in our converted camper van. In this episode, we're showing you the benefits of campsite parking and what you can get for £35 in Cornwall. Let's get set up, eh? So one of the most awesome things about staying in a campsite is that you get an electric hookup, most of the time anyway. Sometimes you don't, but this time we have. And um, so apparently you just pop this in here. I've never done it before. So you just pop that in there and pop the other side into the um, electric hookup and it's done. Um, the reason why this is really good for me is because I get to charge my laptop um, without using the solar panel and I get to use my hairdryer which I can't actually use without this um, and my hair strainers as well. Okay so we're all set up here, we've got our tables out and everything, we're parked up and um, it costs £35 a night to stay here but this is this particular pitch. The whole site has lots of different price ranges. I'm gonna to go to reception now and find out the price ranges. There is no definite price list because obviously what we do is we have different seasons, we have lots of different pitches. Oh, okay, but I see, But that directs yeah. you to our website, which has got all the information oh, on it. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay. Thank no you so worries. much. Okay. Yeah, okay, so looking at the map that the lovely lady at reception gave me, um, we are not the budget option. There is one below us. We are the standard, and there's one, two, three, four um, grades higher than us. So we're the second one from the bottom, um, but it's a really nice pitch. Okay, so let's have a little tour of this campsite. So yeah, it's one of those sites where sort of every single van um, is parked right next to every single van. But there's a good sort of 10 to 15 yards of space between you and the next van. There's enough of table and chairs, that sort of thing. Um, so it's not too bad, but you're still boxed in, um, which I think is a bit of a disadvantage um, compared to maybe some other campsites and what have you. Obviously not all campsites are made the same. This campsite is located in Cornwall in a place called Polzef. Polzef is friggin beautiful and we're going to show you that a bit later on uh, because it is absolutely stunning. The facilities that you would get at a £35 a night campsite are this. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so it's got grey water disposal and non-smelly as well, which is really good. Some of them are really smelly. Um, Standard from what we've seen across all campsites uh, is that you get to offload your grey water So it's not particularly something that would make it something uh, significant to a luxury one um, But there is here a laundry area which is a ting point um, Because the not all campsites have laundry and tumble dryers as well uh, There's two toilet blocks and two shower blocks and two places to do your washing up as well Let's go and have a look at them Okay, so there's, uh, so there's two sets of toilet blocks. This one's open in the day. The other one's open in the morning and at night uh, for cleaning and sort of those sorts of purposes. This one is only, from what I understand, cold showers. So during the daytime, you cannot, at a 35 pound, the more expensive campsite, you can't get a warm shower, which is a major point, I think. But there are toilets available and uh, I don't think you'll, because of the amount of toilets available, I don't think you'll struggle to get into a cubicle or whatever, but it's cold showers only during the daytime, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, here is your, this is if you've, if you've got uh, chemical toilets on board in your camper van, this is the where you dump them. So that's good that they've got one of those as well. And this is the washer dry rooms. There are three washing machines and three dryers. Washers and dryers on site is a really, really, really good thing. Um, massive benefit for us because we don't have anything like that on board so we rely on these places to do our laundry so i've got my washing here all nice and dry and next we're going to show you the best thing about staying in this luxury campsite that's the laundry put away now let's go and see the best thing about this campsite 
Now that took less than a minute to get here and this is the reason why we're spending £35 on a campsite. So Tristan campsite is directly on Pole Zeph Beach in Cornwall. It makes it a priceless campsite in my opinion. We really don't mind paying the £35 price which is quite expensive to have this. Literally can get aboard and go surfing and be in the sea within like two to five minutes. I mean that is unbelievable and the town itself is a beautiful little surf town little cafes, restaurants. In fact, let's just go and have a look. Polzef Town is a cute little coastal surf town with its beach right in the centre. There are some surf shops, surf hire, as well as a few cafes and some food vans with some pretty good vegan options. The local convenience store had some vegan burgers and sausages, which was great for our barbecue later on. Liam and I also found a wood-fired pizza van where we had the most delicious butternut squash pizza. In the town, we found things like vegan poke bowls, Asian food, pasties and cakes, and Liam began a new obsession for the vegan flapjacks called Bramble Jack. Okay, I'm off for a surf, which is like two minutes uh, walk, um, so really convenient. It's after five o'clock now, so the bathrooms are open, and I'm gonna show you what they're like. So the bathrooms have four showers, but due to you know what, only two are open at this time. They are actually lovely, spacious showers with hot water, but it will cost you 50p to enjoy them. Just pop the money in this box here and they automatically turn on. But be quick, you only get six minutes before your time runs out. They have a small hairdryer too. I couldn't get it working though. Perhaps it's not in use at the moment either for safety measures. They have quite a few toilet cubicles and to be honest, I never had to wait for a cubicle or a shower, which was great. <laughs> So earlier I was talking about the different levels of campsites that you get here from um, the basic range to like the superior. We're the second one up and I think it goes up to level like six or something. But I'm gonna show you the top level now and I think you'll agree it is the best level in this campsite. This is the top pitch here and these guys get the best beach views. They are also very lucky because they get the prime spot for sunset. And the sunsets here in Polzef are magical. but Poles F was just one of those places for us. As the sun went down, the magic rose in the air. There was live music, dancing, cold beer, we barbecued, drank wine and watched as everyone was having the best time. We watched as surfers headed into the sea for the last chance at catching the perfect wave before the day was through. Whilst on the beach, people met with friends and ate food. The balance of locals and tourists was fantastic yet there was a chilled but ecstatic vibe in the air. People laughed whilst dogs played and all we could do was sit in awe. Liam and I recommend Poles F so much it ticks so many boxes for a perfect staycation holiday and the campsite was overall really good too. 